Hello everybody and welcome back to a new episode of Let's Play Mass Effect Andromeda and we are on a mission to find Korra actually. I don't know where she is and apparently Liam's statement kind of got me curious to see what's going on with her. Um, and I, I really don't know. Wait, is, is there more stuff over here maybe? I could go through this door. Oh, maybe I could go through this door to find her. Because I'm like, I don't see her anywhere. Oh, wait. What is this? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm so excited about that. We're going to hopefully be doing the vault in this part. Uh, it just, just, just depends on how many more people we need to talk to. All right. So, let's go. Open door. Oh, yeah. She's probably over here. Cora, what are you doing? Cora, are you getting into trouble? Okay. Is there anyone that needs to talk to me? No, no, you're like, nope, don't need to talk to that guy. He's just a human. Oh, wait, isn't this the place that we... Oh, we've been here before. We were here. We were here. This is where we first, like, spoke to Jal, really. Or not the first place, the second place we spoke to him. Learned you were coming. I prepared a date about our laws regarding war. Learn them. Well, thank you. I will definitely look at that. Though, 241 pages. Thank you for much, much, much less reading. Though we face an enemy that will not stop until our entire civilization cease to exist, it's important we not abandon the principles of basic morality. The cat must be defeated, but not at any cost. It won't matter if our future generations can live without fear of death or enslavement. If the freedom was achieved through genocide or other by bar barbaric crimes love it it's very true okay um is she still so she's still i still don't know where she is um okay so am i uh, what's going through here this is this the oh yeah this is uh this is where ephra is oh scan that all right Hey, Ephra. What up, Ephra? What's this, Ephra? Okay, hold on. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. I'm sure I could like, look into that again later if I needed to. Ephra, what's up? I expect you to take good care of Jaw out there. I will. I'm sure he'll return the favor. Don't worry about him. You saved the Moshai. That earned his loyalty. Still wrapping my head around what you found at the cat facility. That exultation. It's awful. It must be hard for you, realizing what the cat soldiers are. Doesn't change what we have to do. It's war. What do you need? What's your story, Ephra? You're not getting my personnel file. I'd just like to know who I'm working with. You want to know what it's like being me? I wake up every morning to fight a war. I send people to kill and die. If I'm lucky, there are more dead cat than resistance when I go to sleep. That's a hell of a burden. Enough personal discussion. You've been fighting cat a long time. Any advice? Your war's different from ours. It's still a war, and we're not prepared for it. Wouldn't matter if you were. The Ked aren't a conventional enemy. Any idea where they came from? A homeworld somewhere? Each of our colonies heard a different story. I doubt any were true. They came from far away. That's all we know. Ever tried following a Ked ship to see where it goes? Of course we did. Wherever home is, they don't visit. Do the Ked have a favorite strategy? Something we can exploit? They switch tactics constantly, almost capricious about it. Makes them unpredictable. They must have some weakness. They're vulnerable to brute force. That's enough. The Ked aren't mindless monsters. They must care about something. Slaves, resources, power. Same as any conqueror. You didn't see the exaltation process. They treat it like religion. They convert us against our will. That's not religion. It's genocide. Every culture has its purpose. Theirs is to take whatever they want. There's no official Angaran military? Just the resistance? Lost our fleets and armies decades ago. Cat mostly. 
The rest fell to internal strife. We kept fighting, but our civilians were disorganized, poorly supplied, leaderless. Decades of aimless defiance got us nowhere. I had to make the resistance real. I've seen armed people in uniform. They're not resistance? Are your police? Purely ornamental. Gives us the appearance of civilization. You don't think they're necessary? If things go bad, the resistance will handle it. That's up to the governor, isn't it? <laughs> How is the resistance organized? Loosely. We operate in cells. Independent strike teams have better odds. If the Ket capture a cell, it doesn't compromise the rest. How did you wind up in charge? Nothing to lose. My family was rounded up into a Ket slave camp. Last contact I had with any of them was ten years ago. They could still be alive. Didn't figure you for an optimist. What success have you had against the Ket? Enemy casualties are up 600% in three years. But that's just a number. Every time we destroy a facility, take out a warship, we give our people hope. And you're not fighting alone anymore. We'll see. What do you think of your governor? She governs Aya, not the Resistance. Way to avoid the question. Is there history between you? I can always count on Paran to offer a... spirited argument. You respect her? She holds her own. Not many do. I hope the Initiative is making a good impression. The Initiative? <laughs> Sounds so unthreatening, like a city planner meeting. That's kind of what it's meant to be. City planners don't walk around in battle armor with rifles on their shoulder. Depends on the city. My point is, we traveled through dark space to build something here. That's what invaders always say, at first. We're not invaders. Of course. I'll let you get back to it. Good. I mean, I, I agree, like, oh, hold on. Let me talk to this guy. This guy needs to talk to me. Does he need to talk to me? Do you? Okay, there we go. Move Team Vion to replace them. Oh, six and nine is still unstable. They'll be out of food in two days. But I'm on three. They have to fall back. Sounds like you've got trouble. Too many kept, not enough resistance. I have a team that's been in the field for six months without resupply. They won't come in. Say they're close to taking down a kit outpost, but I don't know. Uh, send backup? If they could do it alone, they would have by now. Send reinforcements. Getting the enemy in one place leaves us vulnerable elsewhere. But you're right. This is the hardest part of my job. Thank you for the advice, Pathfinder. All right, well, uh, yeah, so I agree, like, you know, maybe, like, people didn't come here with the intention of evading, but, I mean, when you really think about it, you're going to another galaxy, like, you're, like, that's, you don't own that. You don't own that. There's no, like, so you're a visitor, you're a guest. You need to treat it with respect. That's what I always think. Okay, um, all right, so where are we going? So there's a room here. Okay, so I'm guessing that she's not in this room, so let's go here first, I guess. No entering the med center until you're clean. How oh, do I okay. decontaminate? Ion console. Touch the start pad, it does the rest. Oh, gotcha. Sam, is this thing safe? Yes. The slight ringing in your ears is nothing to worry about. Very reassuring. All right, so let's take a look and see what's in here. This is cool. All right, uh, it looks like no one can talk to me, I guess. Oh, no, I can talk to you. I assume you're the human everyone's buzzing about. Yes. If you're looking for treatment, I'm afraid I don't know enough about human physiology to be much help. Taxi. Unless you can make use of the ion beds. Um, learning in Gara Medicine. If Jal takes a hit on my watch, my doctor needs to know how to treat him. Can you point me to resources she can use to learn your methods? So you're considering all possibilities. Jal is in good hands. I have medical journals on treating Angar and injuries and preventing complications. You're welcome to upload them to your ship's doctor for study. Uh, I would love to. Is there something special about the beds here? They're filled with a negatively charged iron gel. The gel works with our natural electricity to speed recovery. Think it'd work on other species? 
Without bioelectricity, it would be of small benefit, but it might reduce pain. So you guys are electrically charged? Our bodies produce a store of electricity that we can dispel in a surge of energy. We use it for short-range communication, healing, even combat. I admit, I was surprised to learn your kind doesn't have that ability. Some of us are biotic. It's similar. Kinda. I would be interested to study biotics. I'll get moving. Be sure. Okay, bye. Um, and also, I uh, hope that I got the study for stuff. I don't know. Anyway, Dower is Cora in here. There she is. Causing a whole Good bunch of trouble. You. I hear. Wish I could join in down there. I could use a workout. Oh, is, are they working out? Let's go over this again, everyone. Center, ground, focus. That's how to harness your ability in combat. What we're doing right now is nothing like a battle. Oh, okay, also let's talk. Getting lots of stares. Reminds me of being on Thessia for a sorry commando training. Mm -hmm. We're the aliens. Any advice? Got any tips on navigating an alien society? Be yourself, but your best self. Listen and be polite about scanning your food. Though that's good advice in general. Oh, this is interesting. Look, they're practicing stuff. What is this? Pathfinder, Ephra cleared you to purchase weapons over my objections. Anything I buy will be used to fight Cat. You fight our enemy, but you're not one of us. Remember that. Okay, well, thanks for nothing. Goodbye. I don't need your stupid weapons. Um, and I can't go in there, so that's fine. Cora, just behave. I hear people are looking at you weird. All right, so that takes us to that. So, we're done, guys. What's this? Marketplace. Oh, wait, what's this? Collect holographic messages. Oh, I got to collect some holographic messages. Can I fast travel now? I'm going to try to fast travel to the market. I think there was a terminal up here somewhere. I think it was actually just outside the store, if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Fast travel station. Okay, we're going over here. Yes. I wish to fast travel. I want to travel fast because it saves me time. You know. All right, here I am in the market. I've got a little bit of messages that I got to get to. Examine. Yep, citizens to the Nexus. I've forwarded it to there. There we go. Forwarded that message. And then the last one, I guess I could fast travel again if I'm being real lazy. Uh, can I for fast travel here? Yeah. I mean, I don't know if it was going to save me any time, to be honest. That was ridiculously close. That was ridiculous. Yeah, see, it's taking more time to load than it would have taken to get there. Bad call, Stu. Bad call. Especially because it's not even, like, right there. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let's go and upload the message. All right, citizens to the Nexus. There you go. I've uploaded them all. You're welcome. Okay, and now let's go to journal for a second here. Okay, so we have new Healy assi assignments. So search Vold for Angara and Relic. Yeah, I will. Obviously, I have to do that. Uh, Nexus, is there anything? Nothing still here? Okay, and uh, allies on hold. Uh, search for many. On hold, on, on hold, on. Oh, oh. On hold, on hold, on. Uh, oh. I don't know how to do this. I mean, I'm trying to. On hold, on hold, on hold. Beautiful! Everything is on hold! Okay, so that means that, uh, yeah, we didn't get any new ones of those. So that means I get to do the priority app. I am, I've never done this app before. Never done this before. I'm gonna save the game. Super excited. Are you guys ready? We are going to take PB for sure. And I'm gonna take, um, I think I'm gonna take Vetra. I know I just took on the last mission. I, really, I don't know. I'm still figuring out the second person. Taking PB for sure though, because this is a vault thing and she loves that stuff. Oh. Wow, it's overgrown. 
I haven't brought anyone here in over 20 years. There's always been an active display for Aya, but we could never affect it. Let's see what we can do. Sam? Yes, this is new. Is it similar to the vault on Eos? Tell me, what are you seeing? I think what we need to figure out is, what's different? Tell me, what do you see? The vaults. They're a network, as you discovered. However... They're not connected to each other, but to this place. This image was on a relic the Archon showed me. He called it Meridian. And it looks like Aya's vault is the only one that's fully connected to it. And it's terraforming. Doing what it was meant to do. The vault on Eos is also present, but changed. Our interfacing with it has affected its connection. What do you think, Professor? I think that Meridian is the control center for all the vaults. Thank you. This is unbelievable. If we can get to Meridian, maybe we can turn everything on from there. Make Helios live. Wait, Ryder. The Archon knows where it is. He's already been there. What? Where? Meridian? Of course. That's why he tortured me. He thought I could help him use it. Because he can't. Meridian is my people's best chance for survival. We have to take it from him. Agreed. Such power in the hands of such evil could mean the end of your people, and mine. No one is safe as long as he's on this hunt. I'm going to shut it down, for all our sakes. You're going to need that relic I saw. The Resistance might have intel on the whereabouts of Archon's ship. I'll talk to Ephra and secure his full cooperation. Meet me there. So cool. I guess I didn't need to take anyone. I thought I was gonna have to fight people. But I guess I didn't have to fight anybody. It was just so cool. That was an amazing scene. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, I guess I could fast travel. I'm just, I'm just so pumped. Okay, let's get to meet him at HQ. Uh, let's meet him at HQ. Infirmary, Resistance Headquarters. Yep. Here we are, going into meet Ephra. Oh my goodness. I, I'm so excited. Like I have no idea what's gonna happen. This is so exciting. I deserve to be told. You had no right to keep it secret from me. It's an ongoing investigation. I meant no disrespect. Did Jal know? Of course not. Neither did the human. Sorry to interrupt. This isn't your concern. It is now. We need to find the Ket command ship. Tell him the truth about my capture. Moshai, please. It may be our only route to the Archon. One of my men helped the Ket take her. A resistance commander named Venterev. One of your own gave her to the Archon? No wonder you hushed it up. This isn't about hiding the truth. I'm working to capture him. Make him answer for what he did. You know where he is? Kadar report. My contacts are hunting him. Contacts? You can't trust anyone there. They deserted our cause, our people. And now they're ruled by exiles from your galaxy. Ven may know how to find the Archon and his ship. We can't leave this to a pack of renegades and outlaws. I'm a little new to the galaxy. Where did Ven go exactly? Kadara Port is a trading outpost. We abandoned it when the Ket invaded. Some of us went back. Deserters, scavengers. They don't support Aya. How did Exiles from the Nexus wind up there? Bad luck for everyone. I need the relic that leads to Meridian, and I can handle my people. Let me do this. I don't like it. 
I don't care. The Pathfinder is right. I'll transmit my files on Kadara Port to your ship. Our traitor could have useful information. We need him alive. That's up to him. Be safe, Pathfinder. As for you, Ephra, we're not done. She's pissed. She's pissed. Okay, can I speak to you? I love the Moshai. I wish you would come with us. You should just come with us. Ephra, I have nothing to say to you. But I really want to see you. Oh, it's too bad. She does not want to talk to me right now. She's like, Stu, I just talked to you. I don't need to talk to you again. I'm like, okay, fine. What is over here? Now I have something over here. Let me go over there. Okie dokie. I am so pumped because I've never done a mission before. It's really exciting playing a game that you've never played before. You know what I'm saying? Like, we have no idea what to expect. Okay. Okay. Where are we going? Where is the person that we need to speak to you? When you have a moment, Pathfinder, this is a tremendous honor. Oh. I must express my admiration for all you've done. Crossing the void between galaxies, navigating the Scourge to find Aya. Incredible. It's nothing. The odds were against us, that's for sure. Yet here we are, strangers from different galaxies conversing in friendship. Extraordinary. I am Mariko Daresh, Chief Phoneron. It's a privilege to meet you. Tell me about yourself. I'm something of a pathfinder myself. I am a celestial observer, charting the movements of stars, planets, and the Scourge. An astronomer? You know the safe routes out there? We deploy satellites that alert us to new hazards and opportunities. But we've lost contact with several key observers. They've simply stopped. I sent a vessel to scan their last known locations, but Nothing's been found. Your Tempest is highly advanced. I hoped you could aid our search. Of course. Even Pathfinders need a good map. I'll look into it. I knew you'd understand. I'll provide search nav points. And when I can finally reconcile our charts with fresh satellite data, I'll gladly share all we have. Thank y'all. Appreciate that. Okay, so now we are going back to the Tempest. Because we have to go on this other world. I'm so pumped. Uh, yeah, so 1,000% every single thing I do from here on out. Brand new. Never been done. I have no idea what's going to happen. So, I'm very excited. <laughs> very excited. I'm very excited. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that was a really amazing song, you guys. Just for y'all. Director Tan, good news. The Angara opened an embassy for us on Aya. That is a surprise. What are their expectations? Uh... They survived the Scourge and the Ket, and rebuilt their civilization. Don't forget it. Appeal to their pride. Sensible. I will gather envoys and send them to Aya. Thank you, Pathfinder. We'll take it from here. Wow, you are so wonderful. So wonderful. I think that I... Should I, like, go back to the Nexus? I don't know. Like, just go check in? Oh, what's up? Hey, Vetra. What's up? Did I, did I win? Did I win? Yeah! Oh, I failed. Did I win? Yeah! Did I fail? Oh wait, no, 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 no. I'm still playing in that one. One more hour, okay. So lowest one needs to do that one. Second lowest one. Yeah. And then this is not gonna go well. 33% chance. Yeah, yeah, it is what it is. Okay, so let's go claim all rewards. Love it. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to Liam. He's being really needy. He needs me, you know? And then once I speak to Liam, then that is it. I am going to end this part here. Yes, yes. Okay. All right, door. Liam? You're working pretty hard. All the time. Started young. Smart little kid. Got angry a lot. 
Side effects of giving a shit. I need a top. Liam, what's going on? We found that facility on Vold. Kick them in the teeth. Great. But the cats steal what people are. Everyone should have a stake in that. So I reached out, trying to get resources moving in a real way, bridge that gap like I did with Joe. I can't get permission coming or going. The Nexus, Aya, everyone is all can't take risks with outsiders. I didn't come here so everyone could be goddamn outsiders. You're taking on a lot, making all of Helios your problem. It is our problem. We're not going back. We have to make it work. I wanted this. Everything new. But eventually, it, it has to be normal. I need something familiar. Can I show you something? Did you bring anything from the Milky Way? One or two things, but the weight limits were real strict. I know. That's why I made arrangements. <laughs> it's a proper petrol burner. 20th century. British. From when that mattered. My whole family worked here together, weekends. <laughs> like those are a thing in space. Know what we did? Friends and Hustle set us up good. They borrowed us a transport right before I went into cryo. And me and my father and mother loaded our car into it and pointed it at Andromeda. Aww. It's a nice gesture, but you know you won't see it again. Oh, it's, it's a couple million years away in standard light. The important thing is, it's coming. And always will be. I don't know what that means. It means your family, the Angara, this team. We're all lucky you care so much. Uh, I'll probably screw it up, Pathfinder. Join the club. The screw-up started 600 years ago. <laughs> Truth. <laughs> this will be home. It has to be. I won't let being outsiders stop that. Ah, oh, poor Liam. He has a lot of emotions. A lot of feelings but with that i am going to go ahead and end this part here guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye for now